Okay, so here's the situation as it stands. I am currently in Port Angeles, Washington, as in Washington State, as in the West Coast of the United States. You guys who follow me know that I live on the East Coast of the United States in Connecticut. If you've been paying attention to me on social media, and maybe some of you aren't, so if you're not following me on Instagram, bing! You would have seen if you follow me on Instagram that last night I did a corporate after-dinner stand-up show in Maine, which is about three and a half to four hours from where I live in Connecticut. When I was done with the show, I drove all the way back to Connecticut, got home just about midnight, repacked my entire case and all my travel stuff, got to sleep about 1 a.m., slept for less than three hours, got up, drove to the airport, got on my first of two flights, today, uh, Chicago, and then from Chicago to Seattle. Seattle is the closest airport to the show that I'm doing tonight at Peninsula College in Washington. And being the closest airport, it's still two and a half hours away driving. So when I got into Seattle, uh, a couple of hours ago, I got a rental car, drove two and a half hours to Port Angeles, which is where I am now. So now you're caught up. I had less than an hour in the hotel in order to shower and recompose myself. I've been traveling for 15 straight hours already today on about three hours of sleep, and my day is just getting started. Uh, pro tip for you, if you gotta fold up your clothes, uh, when you get to your destination, when you get to the hotel, first thing you should do is take them out. Even though they've only been hanging up for about half an hour, you can see there's still a little line here from where it was folded, but when it first came out of my case after being after, after flying uh, in my case all day for like, uh, like eight or nine hours, it was way worse than this, and so were the dress pants, even though I do a really good job of packing them because that's what happens when they go in a suitcase with all that extra stuff and all that weight. So take them out, hang them up. The natural weight of gravity and everything will pull down on them. And even in half an hour, 45 minutes, if you leave them for an hour or two, if you can leave them for two hours, they'll be pretty much back to normal except for a few small creases here and there, which if you're gonna then put on a jacket or a vest, you wouldn't really notice much anyway. So a little pro tip for you guys. Got to wait for Jeremiah to come uh, find me so he can show me where we're going. I think we're in a theater tonight. <laughs> yeah, hey, cool. Brian, very nice to meet you. Thanks well. so much for having me. All right, thanks so much for having me here today. Uh, what's your name? My name's Brian Tan. Brian, that's right, Brian. Very nice to meet you again. Shake, shake. Four, what's your major? What do you want to do? Um, it's a, a business major. Oh, okay. Any any grand plans in business or not quite sure yet? Um, yeah. Not quite sure yet? Um, no, maybe <laughs> just a startup. Star oh, a startup. Hey, this, this is a good part of the country to do a startup in, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Uh, Amazon and, you know, Microsoft here. Amazon, Microsoft, all that big stuff. I just do card tricks for a living. I don't understand any of these things. But thanks so much for having me and for giving me this awesome, maybe you can help me because I'm holding the camera, this awesome t-shirt. Look at this. Yeah. So it's about 10 after 6. I'm uh, done setting up for the show. Did it real quick. Sound check worked instantly and uh, everything is just went <laughs> perfectly. Often when you're on a small campus, they don't do as much entertainment because they have smaller budgets and when they have smaller budgets, they only book one or two things a semester and when they do that, more people come to the show because it's more special. You know, where I live in, in New England and, and, and you know, in that part of the country, entertainment is so inundated. There's just entertainment all the time everywhere and so the shows, them, when you do a show in that part of the country, it's just like one more thing. It's not as special. And uh, the community, you know, people from the community are allowed to come to this show, which is a really, really cool. So there should be kids and uh, parents from the community, of course, a lot of college students. Probably, I think they were telling me there's going to be a lot of uh, 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 like people from, you know, students from sports teams, uh, which is which is great. You know, sometimes you'll see an entire baseball team or an entire basketball team, you know, show up in uniform right from practice or something like that. So.
out of tune. Super out of tune. Dressing room. Photo of a guy punching another guy in the nuts. Oh yeah, get it. Owen. Owen? Brian, nice to meet you. What's your name? Owen. Uh, are you Owen? Yeah. Are you Owen? Yeah. Oh, you guys are killing me. All right, high five. Right with you. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's so friendly in this part of the country. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Come or don't, he'll pay me anyway. <laughs> 7 o'clock.